Hey everybody, and for a first on my channel, and because it's spooky month, I'm gonna play a horror game, which is gonna be terrible because I'm very bad with horror games. I mean, I guess you could call Pathologic a horror game of sorts, but this is like directly a horror game inspired by the PS1 era low poly horror, which is honestly my favorite aesthetic for horror games. And yeah, Sanguine Sanctum. It was part of a retro spooky bundle on itch.io, which collects a lot of my favorite uh, horror games of that type. Like, by people who I enjoy games of, like Puppet Combo. They make fantastic horror games. A lot of them exclusive to their Patreon, but... In the bundle, it had Nun Massacre, which I may or may not play. I feel like I just die playing it because I really don't do well with horror games. I love horror games; they are they're my one of my favorite genres of video games. I don't play them on the channel because I'm not a horror, you know, game YouTuber type. But you know, it's the month, and I. I, it's a re relatively niche genre of uh, horror itself, you know, the low poly PS One era style. So yeah, let's let's get to it. I hear this game is inspired a lot by the old PS One game uh, LSD Dream emulator. You know, just instead of surreal haunting imagery, we have horror. So let's see how this goes. Badly, I think for me. Oh boy. Oh, I love the I love the, the pixel or not pixel. The low poliness is so good. I just leave. Inoperable. That's fantastic. Enter. I already don't like this. There's just something about the Low poly, low poly PS1 era is just so good because nothing to offer. Okay. Because the limitations of it really add to it because I don't like these to the void. Because at least so much to the imagination. I know it's a technical limitation that your vision is like very, very limited. But, at the same time, it adds a lot to the atmosphere. Okay, let's just go... Oh, that is loud. Legitimately just got shivers, despite their... Not real... <laughs> just look at the cool... Okay, you know how I love dreamlike... Uh... Expanses that the media of games can do. Just weird, surreal geometry, things that can't exist in real life. This game right now, so far, ticking all those boxes. Oh boy, this is... See, this could either be like a pool of lava, or a pool of blood. With cubes coming? I don't... Cubes of meat flying out of it? It leaves a lot to the imagination. Like, this aesthetic is... What I'm about. Glitchy... Expanses of nightmarish... Realities. Like, this floor looks like a conveyor belt, just because of the way it's fluctuating and... Undulating. Do I want to walk into this void? Yeah? Did I just fall off the edge? I just fell off the edge. Undying. Achievement unlocked. Okay, so clearly that was a portal to nothing. Or not a portal at all. That was just me falling to my death. Music on point. Actually, this reminds me a lot of Hell from the Hellraiser universe. Sort of. Because that game, or 
that game. That... I, I don't think they called it Hell. It's been a really long time since I watched the Hellraiser movies, but... Uh, you know, that reality was filled with weird geometrical shapes. Can I jump into this? Can I jump? Haha! There's an invisible pathway. I don't know if I want to walk through this monolithic doorway. I guess I will. Ooh. See, this is so effective. Just because you can't see forwards, you kind of just have to take a leap of faith. Heck yeah, I got a key. What is this? Uh, it's, a, it's a key, man. That's an achievement I got. And there's just this void below. And ugh, one of my fears is deep ocean where you can't see below you, and this is tapping into that quite effectively. It's just nothing below. Like, I don't know if there's any... I, I know nothing about this game. It was just part of the bundle, and I was like, I love the look of this, let's play it. What? Hello... Obelisk? Or not obelisk, I don't know, tetrahedron? Do you want anything from me? I guess nothing right now. Legitimately, if there's like dark shadow people in the corner and I'm missing it, that would terrify me. Things unseen in the corner, which you don't notice until looking back, just get to me real bad. Man, this is such a cool aesthetic, because it plays not only into the, the I want to say Lovecraftian aspects of, you know, unearthly geometries, but also plays upon the nostalgia of old PS1 era games that you grew up with. And I guess like old Windows screensavers too. Like, think of how horrifying those old things were when they glitched out. Because they created really bizarre effects. Okay, let's walk to the giant melting obelisk. Ooh! Hello. What is this? This is a heart, isn't it? Yep, it's beating in my hands. I'm hearing whispers. This is fantastic. Exactly what I wanted to hear. I assume I bring this back to the monolith pyramid place that I started in. And offer it to the giant lake of fire in the middle. Ooh, this background though. There are noises that I am not a fan of. Heck, this heart in my hands. Beating. It sounds like somebody's slurping. I hate this, but I love it. It's like either slurping or whispers. I know this isn't the way, but I want to explore on this side. This really is like a more horror-centric LSD Dream emulator. Which is a lovely game. Never released in the West, but hey. I want- there's something down here. That looks like an eye looking upon me. And I don't think I'd like it, but I'm gonna keep going forwards. That is not an eye at all. Ooh, I do not like that sound at all. I'm, I'm leaving now. Ooh, that makes me really uncomfortable. But yeah, this, this aesthetic really lends itself very well to horror. 
Because it encapsulates a lot of different things. Nostalgia, the corruption of nostalgia. Because, you know, if you, especially if you grew up with this... I oh, know, that's the way to death. Especially if you grew up with games of this era. You know, they're supposed to bring you back to a happier time. But seeing something like this... You know, it's a darker rendition of what you're used to. This place actually reminds me a lot of Quake. The heart is beating faster. Uh. Uh. Feed it. Oh my god. I don't know what it is, but these sounds. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna move away from them. That was that realm. Ooh, I don't like this. But let's go to the next world. Because, of course, I'm gonna go to the next world. Why wouldn't I? Uh Ooh. Ooh. Okay, before anyone says it, yeah, this looks like vaporwave aesthetic. But hey, let's do it. Ooh, boy, this is... This is trip. I don't like how the light at the end of the tunnel disappeared, but okay. <laughs> this reminds me so much of those, like, 90s browser world games filled with user-created content that just... Oh! Oh my god, what? There are shadow people? I hate this already! Oh my- let's just keep going. The whispers are terrible. I hate this. I hate this so much. Great, one of seven buttons. Oh no, are we in the- Ooh. I hate this. Are we like in Slenderville? They seem to be slowing down a little bit. I don't- I don't like shadow people, man. They're rushing past in silent voices. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, sir. I just keep expecting there to be one behind me, just slowly following me through the abyss. Because that's that's the thing that happened in LSD Dream Emulator. There was a shadow man who kind of just... Or man in a coat who would just follow you. In certain dream worlds. And then if he touched you, you woke up. Uh... This is some slender the eight pages, but whoa, that game! I know it exploded in popularity, and during the, its time, that's where a lot of you know horror let's play boomed. But it was a legitimately tense game at the start. Like it was very simplistic in its execution. You literally just go through a forest collecting eight pages, but at the same time. I don't like these shadow people. It's so lonely. Don't like their talking either. Ugh. Ugh. Excuse- oh, they're not moving anymore. I'm sorry, dudes. I interrupted your... your movement throughout the city. But yeah, the Slot of the Eight page is very effective. Oh, I don't like this. Ugh. Lovely visuals. Honestly, perfect for me, like. What? 
Oh, these are the buttons I press. Right. Oh, what? What is that face? Oh my god. I was right. Something's falling. Fuck. <laughs> I don't like this. Jeez. Yeah, let's just go down. That's the first time I dropped an F bomb in the game I've played, but I don't like it. I apologize. I like weirdly censored myself anyway by saying it in such a bizarre way. Oh, it's still there. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like you. I don't like you. I knew it. I knew there'd be something behind me. I don't like it at all. You're literally falling behind me, aren't you? Am I giving you a body? No, I dislike you, man. I dislike you. Ugh. But I knew there was something behind me. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? Am I giving you a body by pressing all the buttons? Jeez. Are you the manifestation of the thing that I'm feeding? Oh, I don't like this. Actually, one sec. One sec. What is this? Oh, Jesus. I don't like you. I knew it, though. I really, I honestly knew that there was going to be something... What the heck? Following me. It makes sounds, too. Jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, I do not like this. I've had shivers the entire time. What in the world is this? It's like if I move too fast, I will see it in the corner. And it just... It got to me, man. As long as it doesn't jump scare me, I'm fine. But who? Now it's like a little comforting that I know that there's this like shadowy ghost man following me. But jeez, did that give me a good fright. So wait, how many? There's seven. As long as there's... Eight's the heart. There's three? How you doing, ghost man? Ooh. Jeez. Ugh. Just the fact that I know he's following me, man. You wanna, you wanna sit down? This classroom? Am I giving you a body by pressing this? Are you just gonna like, eat me? Were you always there after the first heart and I just didn't notice? That's three buttons, right? Activate? Sure. What'd I do? Ooh. Lovely paintings. Lovely. Exactly what I wanted to see. Classical art. Appreciate it. The glowing sun of death. Fantastic. Don't know if I want to press this. I did it anyway. Oh. Uh, activate? Sure. How you doing, buddy? The fact that he doesn't want me to see him is just like, come on. Uh, no, not this one. Mm. Yeah, this one I've not been on. I don't believe. Oh, somebody... No, 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 no. It must be the right one, right? Because I pressed the left one. Well, I can say for sure this game got me already.
This reminds me of the PS1 game Blasto, of all things. Because that game was made up of uh, platforms in space, which kind of have a bigger body. No, you're just chilling behind me. That game was just floating platforms in space that you made your way across, blasting aliens and rescuing babies. It's a weird game. It didn't do very well, but it was one of the first games I remember playing. Okay, we got the seven buttons. We're going to get the heart, offer it to the eldritch being in the middle of the pyramid, and call it an episode. Because holy crap, horror games, man. Oh, please, just leave me alone, Shadow Man. Leave me alone. <laughs> don't don't freak me out. Hello, heart. I will take the heart. Let me just leave, dude. Let me just leave. Thank you. I'm gonna check though. If I spin around, is it still behind me? No. It only existed in that shadow world. Where I press the buttons and stop the shadow people from doing their thing. Ah. <sighs> Okay, heart number two, there you go. You're getting bigger, that's fantastic. Hope you like that essence of energy from that world. Yeah. You take in that essence slurp that up okay that's i'm gonna call it an episode for now because i'm terrified and horror games Ooh. yeah hope, hope you're enjoying my foray into Langwing sanctum eating the eldritch abomination energy and hearts from other worlds and then you'll join me next time Bye-bye.